Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. Hello there, Sarah from 17, once again. This is my Gears of War Judgment Insane Difficulty video walkthrough. This is Section 6, Central Control. And we're playing as Cole, trying to get all the declassified missions and all the stars. Speaking of stars, I'm with my girlfriend again. You see what I did there. <laughs> and this declassify is uh, another vision impairing one. So slower health regeneration and lights are out. I don't like it when you can't see. No, you're not the only one. As a rule, whether it's like this and it's dark or whether it's windy, I don't like it. <laughs> In any game, that shouldn't be a thing. Well, it's, it's a good idea if it's situational. No, it's not. No, it's not. Like, the thing that gets me is fog. Have you ever been in fog? Yeah. Sort of? You know when you look at someone else in fog, they seem like they're in real fog. And you never do. So you think, if I go over there, I might be able to get in this really thick fog. But when you get over there, it's fine. And then a little bit further over there is more thick fog. And it's all obviously because of your eyesight and the way your eyes work. It's limited to a certain range. If this game was more like that, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But it's all encompassing, so you can't see all the time. Yeah, I'd have thought even in that place where there's that room, you'd be able to go in there and it'd not be foggy. This isn't too bad, it's saying it's dark, but you can still see everybody. Yeah, but you can only see because when they flash the guns, when they shoot, sure. and it's still difficult to see. It's not like you... I can't tell how many enemies are in this room. Oh no, but you can see sort of where they are and that they're running oh, towards yeah. you and stuff. It's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. It's just not favourable. And I understood when it's expected that it's as if they've put this in for no reason other than oh, it makes it a bit harder. Well, a lot of the times it doesn't even make it a bit harder. It just... It it's a frustration. Irks you. Yeah, it's literally an annoyance. It's, it's like having a little kid on your shoulder poking your neck or kicking your seat. It doesn't really do much. It's just always there. And this sequence here, you can sit back, your team are a decoy, use your breach shot to get headshots. It's... There's no reason to die on this if you've done the sequences that we've done. Like, this this is never going to stop anybody getting to end of the game. Because it's not hard enough. And there's a boom shot up here, which you can grab. And I dropped the breach shot there for the Lancer. I don't know why, but the Lancer in this playthrough was so much more useful than any other gun. And it's really funny because on my first playthrough, I used everything but the Lancer. It's, it's almost like I come, I've come home to the old faithful... <laughs> um, there is an onyx cache if you need it so feel free to use your boom shots because then you can go back, grab that and refill now I'm going to show you how not to use a boom shot with a couple of these <laughs> I was going to say, you're doing really well but, you know, every little helps and the cool thing about having you know, those packs to, to go back for you can just have fun with the weapon rather than every shot needing to be crucial which in some circumstances it is but as I mentioned earlier, I don't think the heavy weapons do any more damage to the last boss than the Lancer does, so I wouldn't worry in that regard. I even used the long shot, and the long shot with actives didn't take it down any faster. It seems really strange. And that's the last guy. He just got chainsawed. He did. That's the three stars, and that is the end of the, the level. Just need to have a look around, see if there's anything to pick up, any munitions, and job's a good one. So thanks for watching. New tech can